Hi guys, I've just uh, put online a tutorial about i3 and in case you were wondering, this is i3. With a menu up here, you can change the background with this little button and we have all the workspaces and module screen on the other hand goes to 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have a menu that locks us out and some, tutor some, some elements like Discord, Telegram and Flameshot and some information. This is i3. It is. But it's different in the sense that we have three looks. The i3 look, the default one from Arclix B, but there are two packages that you can install and I've just made a video about that earlier on. i3. And we have the normal i3, that's the normal guy from Arclix B. This is Forest, what you're looking at. And previous video was called DB Nemesis. These guys, I've explained, I've made tutorials how to get Polybar from Left LBM. The themes, we have like 20, 24 themes on Left LBM. You can migrate it to anything, anything that uses Polybar, obviously. So i3 can be used together with Polybar. If you don't like the i3 bar or i3 blocks, there are other alternatives. So the video I've made previously so let's have a look at the article x b if you want to build things and change things they say this article x b is nice but right it's that but that goes build your own iso build your own iso any of it and it's all explained and it goes on beyond that and this is how to create article x b hyper and so on and so on so these this information is just there to grab and this video will be in the article as well later on the what if is very simple maybe we shouldn't have closed that and start really from scratch so article xb because of course i've got all the data on my machine right console find i3 there it is what you need to do you need to copy paste this Control C, you go to number one, we kill this, Control Alt T, Control Shift, no, let's go to the desktop, I always like to go to the desktop, here he is, and then we git clone everything, that's it, copy paste, you can do copy paste, I'm sure of that, and then you go to the desktop, let's give it the correct name, so it's not going to be an i3, really, it's going to be my i3, and the theme is called forest forests which package should go out i explained that in the other video basically you go all the way down and you say i want to have the arclix i3 dalyam forest remove arclix i3m git control find find remove means delete but we don't delete we put the hashtag in front of it and it's gone it will not be on the iso and instead it will have this look, the one you see up here. All you need to do now is move one level up, installation scripts run number 40, and that's it. And you'll have an ISO based on another theme, another look. And that's what we're gonna do and test. And now you've seen everything from A till Z. In the previous video, if you go to have a look here, not that one, um, let me pause the video and do the delete the cache from the website. Voila. Now we see the article. How to create Arclix bi 3 wm with the Arclix BWM DB Nemesis default look. So this is me. The, the gray thing is me working on Arclix ISO Builder i3. And this window here is QMU. You see it up here. That's the giveaway host Q KVM. QMU and so on and it's i3 and it is the DB Nemesis look so I've shown you in this video 3175 how to how how it looks and what I did but this video will be from A to Z till you know okay and that's the last thing I can do because the last theme there is so in the meantime this machine is working very hard providing all kind of information and we can do a 
bash top if it's installed let's see and always interesting to see all these cores hard at work uh, at this point in time so take a look where we are in the script and then you'll see that suddenly woof, everything goes to 100% we are 16 cores here don't forget this recording as well and all these other things chromium in there phonar and now now you should look at bash top that's fun right flat out 100% every core is busy making the ISO once you've seen it you've seen it so he's making this all right super Q and recording I guess because normally it's all flat out 100% so he's busy with other stuff as well let's um, wait for this to end and then we can install it in a virtual machine all right we've got ourselves a i3 so you can go to workspace 3 super f7 and you have a template and we can clone the templates and call it my personal i3 something like that so i know i can delete it later <laughs> And choose a disk file and there is the Arconix B out folder that contains what we've done right now so control F full screen you know the drill about these things I don't have to repeat it over and over again in every video but it's all about NVIDIA or the absence thereof So let's see if it works. Maybe we need some dependencies, depend. You can always say in a package build, if you build this, get that font and get that icon and, and stuff like that. Um, but maybe there's all is good. Let's see. Thought as much, I did see something about an icon missing up here. So, it can be two things. It can be that it clashes with another font, so that's too much fonts. I need to do, remove one. Or it can be that the font is not present, and then I need to add something. So both of them are possible, which is actually, well, may sound strange, but it is. So we can install it. The difficult version the advanced version not that it's difficult but it's a lot of choices but like you see you can all skip them voila that's that now while he's doing his job let's analyze so what do i need to have for i3 to show that little icon that's missing up there so in the config no 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 not with that thank you very much dev is my thing dev is going to put everything to azerty and also install some stuff that i want like sublime text so yes, I'm working on the ISO, on the live DVDs, how I do my work as well here. So this is the i3 config, but this up here is polybar. So I go to the polybar and go to that config. Now you go to the main bar i3 and we see, we recognize some of the names and here we have the fonts, launcher, set, change background change background check working 
check we have an, a different background All right but do we have this nerd font installed let's see Control T sudo pacman minus s and then let me think ttf io and then the rest comes eosefka nerd was not installed okay super shift reload and we'll see later on if it will be if it will pop up i suppose so if i install it now if I can do my work while we're waiting. What I'll do is to go to super, oops, sorry, super four. I go to the package build. So the package build for the desktop for this particular theme seems to require something, depends. Super F. So this needs that font okay but also the font of ttf eos fka eos fka and then i don't know anymore right so there can't be any typos so you do control t pseudo pacman minus s ttf eo and then the rest sefka nerd ttf I O S F K nerd safe right so next time you make a package are you sorry next time you install this it will also install the font because it needs it I'm building the package now with that particular dependency You see here the extra line. Okay, done. That's out. That's on my repo locally. And now it's on the repos of our clicks and you can install it. So let's see. We are number three. So F. We even have time to spare. It's installing. Take a look at the Toho log if you want to get technical Python things and all that. And otherwise, keep off and enjoy the installation. Now, where you start? We reboot and of course in the live DVD I installed the TTF and the font not on the real metal thing well virtual box thing so basically I still need to do my work but if you update we've now added the package yes we have to wait but we don't have to wait go to narco mirror list delete this line and yes, we update and I don't have to wait then. So we have number three, no to number four. And the difference is that I've made a dependency. And because of that dependency, he says now install also that particular font. And there is no, for the rest, there's no difference. But normally I would say do a scale, right? Because the configuration is in the etc scale and it should be in your home directory. So there might be code changes there. Super X logout. Let's see if that is the trick that we need. Thought as such. What I thought is the following. Pseudo Pacman minus remove. I saw a font in there. That I would not install like this one. Is it really needed? Let's see. I remove this one. Log out. Log back in. Now, 
I think I better use another icon here that's um, more general and I do believe we have an icon from Iosefka that we use and what I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do is show you how I do this git clone https github.com slash rclx slash rclx i3 wm and then db nemesis so this is the other theme if it's coming in a bunch of wallpapers in there takes a bit longer so the polybar the config yes there is no sublime text sudo pacman minus s sublime text okay so the sublime text we have here control find what did i call it best is to follow the code always read the code so we have a rofi rofi find and it seems it's a small no it's this guy that's the code that's the icon so control c if i take this little icon to here to config to i3 to the polybar to the config same con a different config from i3 and again i look for that particular icon which is gonna be launcher find and then we see where is the icon it seems to have lost it content and that's why we don't see anything right there is maybe something i don't know feels like there's something but if i save this again uh -huh. so i'll make a new package and put this little guy in there because probably is is not finding the code that's behind this uh, well this line 911 what a coincidence 911 so that's what i'll change and that's how you figure it out and play with all these things and that's also interesting and how to work with all this stuff this i3 the stuff that you need to read is put this one here go in there put this one there and read it all right best way to read it in my eyes is sublime text or another editor and then the fastest way to do things is like this click all right config all right scripts click 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 read 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 polybar stuff is here and so on and the backgrounds are just some images to do a cb change background cb voila that's it um i'll change make the changes to this package so that we have this little nice icon up there and that's how you create your own article xb um, ISO with a different theme, different look, and different feel, a different config. And of course, make your own configuration, change anything you see, because that's the fun. Cheers.